Review copy provided by PlayStation. Hey everyone, on today's episode of Humor Syndrome, Horizon Forbidden West is massive. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. It is a absolutely wild time for video games, movies, TV. It's all happening. It's all popping off. So really, I could only focus on one big thing in my life right now, and that is Horizon Forbidden West. I had the chance to join Ben and Brad on a recent episode of Frame Trap. You can hear my early thoughts there. I had only put about eight or nine, ten hours in. Now we're up to 40. No spoilers will be had here. No spoilers moving forward. Let's just talk about this game. So Forbidden West, I have been toiling away at this game each night, and one word to describe this thing, epic. Epic on so many levels, just this is a grand journey, a grand adventure, and it's just really starting to click for me. It took a little bit to get into, but I'm really feeling it. And one of those reasons, one of the main reasons, exploration. I absolutely love exploring this world. One, because it's so beautiful, and two, because it just feels so good to move around in, to climb things, to glide, to swim. I just got to some cool underwater swimming parts. Everywhere you look, everywhere you turn in this game, it's just gorgeous, and it's meaningful exploration. You're finding side quests, you're finding side activities, you're finding loot and gear that matter because I'm playing on hard and the challenge is there. It's not insanely difficult. There is a very hard mode that I haven't messed around with, but hard just feels really nice where if I come up on a machine that is higher level than me or there's a bunch of machines, like I gotta be careful, you know? I can't just run in and spam heavy attacks like you do in Horizon Zero Dawn. The combat is just such a big selling point to me, and I found myself comparing it to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla has made a billion dollars, is one of the highest budget, biggest, triple A open world games available. So I think comparing Horizon Forbidden West is, is a very fair comparison. And I just think with exploration, and combat, it blows it out of the water, no contest. So what I love about Horizon's combat is just the ferocity of these machines, these monsters, you know, they have impact when you're chipping away at their parts or when they're slamming down at you and charging you, everything just feels intense, feels impactful, and I love all of the weapon variety in this, you know, the the smaller bows to the like big weapons that you can shoot off of the machines to use, to the bolt caster, to tying things down with the rope caster, like all of these tools have a purpose. And I found myself sticking to what was comfortable, but it wasn't as efficient as to when I started to experiment. I started to use my, my whole arsenal, my toolkit, using my flaming arrows or my corrosive arrows or tying a big machine down and then using my melee on some smaller ones. Just the amount of tools here that you can or don't even have to engage with is just so awesome. There's so much freedom in the combat and it all just feels so good. Another thing I really want to praise about Horizon are the side quests. People have done a history of side quests in video games, but I think we need to add to that conversation because Horizon Forbidden West, I feel like raises the bar a little bit for side quests, you know, just like The Witcher 3 did a few years ago. Now I think Forbidden West is also in that conversation. So each one of these side quests, you know, they try to tell a meaningful story. Some are obviously more impactful than others, but they all do a good job of setting up the world, tying together in really surprising ways, and having you do different things 
in different contexts, you know? You're swimming to the bottom of the ocean to find some loot, or you're navigating a ruin to try to free people that are trapped in there, or one stood out to me the other day where this character wanted to be accepted by his people, so he needed to do this really intense task. And you know, you're, you're tracking him to get up there, and of course there's some big machine to fight. Just these stories that have heart, you know, they can go really in depth with the side characters, but then they can also tell big stories within the larger framework of Horizon's lore. And I just find myself getting hooked on these. Like they're so fulfilling, they're so meaty that I'll do one or two side quests. Honestly, a couple hours will go by and then I'm good. And that's kind of where I'm at with Horizon is just playing a couple of these stories each night is so fulfilling for me that I've been taking it really slow. You know, again, I'm 40 hours into this thing, but that's been over a little bit of time. We did get an early review copy provided by PlayStation. <laughs> yes. Uh, but I don't feel the need or the compulsion to binge it or grind it. I'm just really enjoying Horizon's deliberate pace, and they're really allowing the world to kind of just breathe. So those are my updated thoughts on Horizon. It's gonna change as I keep playing this game. You know, the first five hours, the middle 10 hours, the last 10 hours, it's all different. You know, my changes evolve or adapt accordingly. I'm really feeling this game. And I think it does take small strides to evolve what an open world video game is. You know, it's really balancing the urgent mainline quest, but also this slow paced, enjoying the world and letting these characters breathe and build. And I just, I love that about this game. It's really hitting all the right notes from combat to exploration to storytelling. So this year is just getting started. We've had a couple heavy hitters. Horizon Forbidden West, absolutely one of the highest profile releases of the year. And uh, when this episode goes live, it'll be Thursday. You know what that is? Elden Ring Day. I hope you have planned your weekend accordingly. Dodge those spoilers. Take your time. Don't rush it. We got a long way to go this year. A lot of big games coming out. Let's all enjoy what we're doing, what we're playing, what we're watching, what we're living. Review copy provided by PlayStation.